Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Good day. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Friday afternoon to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness, regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world but Jesus Christ himself promised he says lo I'm with you always I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome this afternoon isn't that great isn't that mighty my friends that God himself promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he says in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by the dwelling welcome to the lesson of the hand god bless you richly. God bless you this afternoon. I will sincerely from my heart, I release a blessing upon your life. And I pray that God will come to bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area of your life. I release that blessing today upon your life. I pray, my beloved and friends, that God will bless your homes. God will bless your marriage. God will bless your children. God will bless your finances. God will bless your business. He will bless you on the job and give you a promotion on the job. And whatever you do, it shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give him a hand to me. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? I cover each and every one under the precious blood of Jesus. Yes, brethren, I cover everyone under the blood of Jesus. And I build a hedge around your life today. I pray the blood covering of Jesus, for the blood is so efficacious and the blood is so powerful. The blood of Jesus, the repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness. This afternoon, every spirit of witchcraft, obia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses, whether first, second, third of fourth generational curses I dispel and I break right now in the name of Jesus the blood is against it I break every chain I break every barrier I break every fetter I break every evil and every work of darkness whom the sun set free is free indeed you are free today let's give him a big hand you are free in the mighty name of Jesus my friends and beloved Jesus said in his words Healing is the children's bread, and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing, for he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes I am healed, you are healed, we are healed, in Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand to him. Yes, my friends, yes, he also said in his words, that if he might, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Joy when Christ comes that we might have life and life more abundantly. Today, my friends, God wants to give you abundant life. He wants to you to walk in divine health and happiness and prosperity and satisfaction and success in this life. But the devil, the thief, cometh. The devil who is a thief, he cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I'm going to break his chain today in the name of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus, I break every barrier and set everyone free in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my friends, the devil wants to rob you of your divine health. I know many are sick today and in the hospitals. Yes, I just came from Georgetown and I saw a fire. A house was burning and chaos and confusion. Yes, my friends, yes, God wants to give you divine health. And when I was driving, the ambulance was coming through with great speed on the road because many were was being burnt up in the house probably. Yes, my friends, but God wants to give you help today, my friends. Those of you who are in the hospital today, 
whatever your sickness, whatever your pain and ailment today, if you're sick unto death and the doctors have given you up today, my friends, I am here to tell you, the man of God take time off to tell you today, that today is your day for a miracle, today is your day for healing today is your day for deliverance today is your day for salvation and no matter the magnitude of your sickness you will not die but you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny i need to call out those sicknesses today where there is a migraine headache you have today god gonna relieve you from that migraine headache whether you're sick with aids and you're in state this dying stage god gonna touch you and set you free and heal you from that virus today my friends if you have diabetes and you're pining away God gonna touch you and heal you today is your day for a miracle if you have arthritis pain all over your joints today my friends God gonna take away that pain that no painkiller can help you with and no medicine that rubbing medicine can help you to relieve that pain God going to take away that pain because he is the healing God that we get forward today. My friends, there are some of you in the hospitals, the doctors have given your family a bill and a report that says that you will not live but you will die but the man of God is here to tell you today my friends that you will live and not die because God is not finished with you as yet you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny before you go home my friends you will not die before your time because God has a work for you to do my friends those of you who have lived curious life you have drank so much alcohol and and sporting and now your liver has dried up you're in the hospitals and you have small children and a young wife at home and you're in a dying stage but you repented of that sin today my friends God gonna give you a second chance to live and you will not die but you will live to fulfill purpose God gonna give you a second chance right now if you feel a burning it's God the Holy Spirit and he's gonna give you a brand new liver yes my friends those who have cancer and the cancer have eaten out the whole inside and you're the last stage of cancer and you're dying bed today God gonna work a miracle for you he's gonna burn out that cancer and that sickness and disease from your body yes my friends with the miracle working God wants to do a miracle for you today those of you who have several heart attacks multiple heart attacks and you're the last stage and the doctor says the last one you will not make it but my friends i'm here to tell you that god will give you a brand new heart and you will not die you will live to fulfill purpose those of you in the hospitals and your kidneys have shut down not only one but both kidneys have shut down and you're waiting for someone to give uh, to donate a kidney for the doctors to do a transplant. Uh, my friends, time is running out. Uh, but today is your day for a miracle. God gonna give you two brand new kidneys uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, yes, my friends, it says preachers. Uh, are you taking it too far today? No, I'm not taking it too far, my friends. Let me explain something. The God who formed man out of dust and breathed in his nostrils and man became a living soul. The same God can work a miracle for you today. The same God can give you a new organ in your body, a new tissue, because he formed man out of nothing. It's no big deal. It's no big thing for him to do that today. And he will do it for you today, my friends. Let me pray, Father God, I pray this afternoon that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit anoint my lips anoint my tongue anoint my voice anoint my body anoint my soul anoint my spirit anoint my mental faculties as I miss your words, your words this day, your words would go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I pray God you heal my body from every virus, every sickness, every germs, every disease, every infirmities and every evil and every work of darkness. Yes, Lord God, heal me and touch me and anoint me with power from on high as I minister. Let your words go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit that many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free today from all manner 
of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Yes, my friends, there is a tremendous anointing of the Holy Spirit here today. Those who are demon possessed this day, my friends, yes, those demons that are harassing you and you cannot sleep in the night, those demons will leave your body and will never return. Right now, I see demons are leaving people's body right now in the name of Jesus. Those tormenting demons, yes, that are harassing you, I command them to leave your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my friends, those who are blind, if you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, today is your day for a miracle. Yes, if you're suffering from depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, today is your day for a miracle. Yes, the anointing of God, the Holy Spirit is here today. I'm going to send for that anointing wherever you're watching from today, my friends. If you're watching from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of the world, today is your day for a miracle. Today is your day for healing and deliverance. And right now, as I send for the anointing, <coughs> right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. My friends and beloved, it's the power of God, it's the work of the Holy Spirit. Yes, receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your salvation, receive from the hands of God. Let's give my big hand to you. I see the spirit that many are revealed, many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Yes, it's a sign, my friends, it's a sign you are chosen of God and don't even know it today. God has chosen you to give you that miracle. You're chosen of God and you don't even know it today. Isaiah chapter. Chapter 43, verse 1 says, Yes, but now thus said the Lord God that created thee, O Jacob. He says in his words, And he that from formed thee, O Israel, fear not. Fear not, I have redeemed thee. Yes, I have called thee by thy name today. And thou art mine, saith the Lord. Yes, God speaks to his people, my friends, as their creator. After all, he is the one who created them. He is the one who created you. Do you understand that God knew you before your father and your mother? First meet one another, my friends, in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 says, God twice directly claims his people. After, after all it, my friends, in his sight, to do so, he is both the creator and the redeemer. Today, my friends, if you are a child of God, yes, my friends, if you are created and your redeemer, your redeemer, he has called you by his name. Yes, you are his today, my friends. He is yours. God has chosen you first. John chapter 4 verse 19 says, we love him because he first loved us. Yes, my friends, Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 says, For he chose us in him, in him before the creation of the world, to be holy, to be holy and blameless in his sight, in love. Yes, my friends, believers are chosen by God, and they are chosen before they have done anything or have been any or have been anything, anything for for God. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 gives us some characteristics of those who are chosen by God. My friends, so what are the signs this day that you are chosen by God? There are signs. One, you are holy. You are holy. We are all to be quite, quite holy. A word meaning quite set apart. Quite set apart. It's interesting to note and the Bible states, my friends, that those who will see the Lord for, the, for all eternity in heaven are those who pursue holiness. Holiness, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14 says, Pursue peace with all people and holiness without which 
no man will see the Lord. Yes, my friends, this verse highlights a wonderful, a wonderful and yet terrifying reality. Yes, the reality that not all people will see the Lord. My friends, the truth is, the truth is we all will see the Lord. We will all stand before him and see him. Yes, when we step into eternity, we all know that even the enemies of the Lord shall bow before him. Yes, my friends, and every tongue shall confess, confess that he is Lord. He is Lord, but this verse is not referring to that day when the whole of humanity, past and present, will be gathered together and see the Lord. See the Lord in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14 says, he is talking about the continual seeing of the Lord which will follow after the judgment Yes, my friends, Hebrew, Hebrews is talking about those who will continue to see God throughout endless ages. Yes, my friends, those who will gaze upon the face of God forever. Yes, unholy people will not, unholy people will not, unholy people will see God for a brief period of time when they are being judged but in their eternity they will not be seeing god my friends they will go to a place with with no beauty yes a place my friends where there is only pain only pain and a place full of weeping and gashing of teeth yes my friends that is where the unholy people will go my friends holiness has to do with living a life living a life of consecration unto god there is such a holiness as imputed holiness where holiness my friends is put to our account by god's kindness for instance abraham believed god and it was credited to him as righteousness but this is not what this verse is talking about today my friends this verse is referring to a holiness which we can pursue seek my friends today and sought after just like peace with other people can be sought after and pursued today we are commanded to be holy because God is holy. God is holy and we are supposed to reflect his image. Yes, my friends, your attitude of holiness will reveal a lot about whether you have been chosen by God. Yes, your attitude of to sin will see to sin will reveal a lot about whether you have been chosen by God Himself. My friends, a child of God is heading towards perfect holiness today. My friends, notice my choice of language quote today, heading towards perfect holiness. Yes, my friends, no one will ever attain perfect holiness in this life. Only Jesus did. He was the only perfect man to walk the earth. However, today, my friends, the truth is, the truth is that true children of God are chasing, chasing and pursuing holiness. Yes, my friends, a clear sign that will tell you that you are in what you are, you are indeed chosen by God is that each day you are taking a step towards perfect holiness. Although, my friends, you will never reach perfect holiness, you are still moving in that direction today. Pursue peace with all people and holiness. With Without which, without which no one will see the Lord. Yes, in the book of Hebrews, we are practically told we will not see the face of the Lord forever if we don't chase after the holiness. My friends today and beloved God chosen people seek and follow holiness today my friends this doesn't mean that christians don't sin don't get me wrong we know christians do sin sometimes we know christians do sin but when a christian sins they are distributed by the distorted by sin and not comfortable in sin when a christian sins yes the conscience is moved and disturbed whereas my friends when an unbeliever sins, they 
are not praised with an unbeliever sin. It is business as usual for them. For them, my friends, he said, pursue, pursue. No one can fully attain complete and perfect holiness. Only Jesus did what the apostle is speaking of here is the direction of your heart towards holiness and not the level of holiness we can seek my friends and chase after holiness what the apostle is telling each and every one of us is that without us continue seeking seeking and chasing for these two things my friends we will never abide in heaven, my friends, he is not saying you will attain these two things, but the direction of your heart will be yearning and seeking for these things. My friends, you will be yearning and seeking a holy life, a holy life. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 tells us he chose us in him. He chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in this in his sight, in love, my friends to you my friends today are blameless when people hear the, the characteristics blameless they automatically think well that rules me out because I know for a fact I'm not blameless today my friends therefore I'm not chosen by God because I know I'm not blameless today they will say the reason for this is that, that we tend to think of someone who is in when we think of the world blameless, we as Christians know we are far from perfect. So what is the, is the biblical view of being blameless today, my friends? Baker Evangelist Dictionary of the Biblical Theology defines blameless today as, as my friend, blameless being, being a characteristic of Christ and his followers, the sacrificial terminology to is applied to the work of Jesus Christ when it is described as quote a lamb without blemish or defect in first Peter chapter 1 verse 19 says who quote through the eternal spirit offered himself on blemish to God quote my friends it says in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 what it says the blameless character of Christ is seen in his continued work as the believers high priest who could meet our need yes my friend one who is holy blameless pure set apart today from sinners exalted above the heavens yes my friends he's exalted above the heavens who apply to christian the quality of blamelessness in both a positional benefit of salvation and a moral character to be achieved my friends each person is worthy of acquisition in the sight of god yes Yes, my friends, the blameless character of Christians, however, is the intention of God who quotes, choose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy, holy and blameless in his sight. And quote, as I stated in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4, it says Christ's love and sacrifice for the church was such that he could present her to himself quote tonight today my friends without strain or wrinkle and or any other blemish but holy and blameless and quote ephesians chapter 5 verse 27 tells us in the bible it says positional quality of blamelessness is not earned by personal gain but inputted by the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter 1 verse 22 tells us the body of his flesh to get to present you holy and unblemished, yes, and, un, and, and unreprovable to in his sight. My friends, God, power and protection today ensure that the believers maintain a blameless status until the final judgment. Yes, my friends, in those occurrences, the legal condition of deliverance from acquisition is clear. 
they be seen. God, my friends, alone has the power, has the power and right to accuse the believer and pronounce condemnation. But uh, through this grace and power, yes, my friends, he renders the believer blameless in his sight. Is not awesome. Give him a big hand. Blameless is not about you. It is about Jesus Christ and what he did for you even in the point of salvation today. Salvation is not about you, my friends, but it is about what Christ did for you on the cross. Yes, my friends, being blameless is something that we can only call ourselves after coming to Christ. It's not something that we have earned or could even earn, my friends, but something that we've given We've given my friends Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4 and 5 tells us according as he had chosen us in him, in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Yes, my friends, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children of Jesus Christ uh, to himself uh, according my friends the good pleasure of his will today yes uh, my friends and beloved because of his love uh, God choose in advance uh, for us to become his children God is your father and he treats you as his child God my friends love you <coughs> as he cherishes you he values you and he cares for you today, my friends. Have you ever cried before and wonder, does anyone care? God cares today, my friends. Yes, he does. Casting all your care upon him for he cared for you. Yes, my friends, God cares. Cares all you know. Is that this little tiny life, this little tiny life that has lived in a falling world today, full of good and bad moments, my friends, but you need to know that is not what God has planned for you. Yes, for you, eternity, my friends, God has a wonderful plan, a wonderful plan and purpose for you and for me and the world for eternity, my friends. Jesus Christ bled, suffer. He bled and suffered and sorrowed and died, died to pay for your sins. And don't listen to preachers who attempt to push this idea that God looks forward to sending people to hell. Yes, my friends, he came and died on the cross for you. He went to the tremendous lengths to save you. My friends, God wants you in heaven. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel today that God wants you in heaven? Do you comprehend, my friends, that he is a loving father and not a dictator that hangs hell over your head and forces you to follow the Ten Commandments? And if you fail once he then pushes you off to hell. No, my friends, that's not God. He is a father. Yes, a caring father. Come to him. Come to him today. Go to him. Continue, my friends, to live a life of falling peace. Falling peace and holiness. Yes, my friends, today you won't attain perfect holiness. With, with, but each day you will be closer closer than before, but I don't feel holy enough to approach God. I have messed up too many times. You might have said that God has made provisions for you when you sin, my friends. The Bible tells us first, first John chapter 1 verse 9 says, if we confess our sins, yes, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, yes, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, my friends and beloved, you don't need to confess your sins to a pastor or to me or to any anyone else, my friends, just God himself get right with God today. Yes, my friends, go to your father right now, wherever you are, my friends, and you confess, confess all of your sins, yes, and turn away from your wicked ways. Yes, your father who watches you, 
you and your family yes my friends your father who loves you more than you ever love my friends know and understand today your father who my friends knows all your failures today faults he know all your failures your faults your weaknesses and he still loves you today my friends yes don't you deserve such a wonderful father we don't but I am glad today we have him we have him so glad that we all have a father a father that we will spend eternity with don't fall into the trap of this world this world wants to consume you with the here and now my friends this world will end this world will end and one point you will die but don't fear death today don't fear death today don't do it hold on to Jesus Christ and remember remember for me to live for me to live is Christ to cry is Christ and to Christ to die is gain today my friends to die is great gain because for all the Bible says all eternity you will be with the Lord you will be with the Lord Jesus Christ with for all eternity is not awesome today my friends it has been a great joy and privilege to let you know that God has chosen you you are chosen vessel a royal priesthood sons of God hears and joint hears with Christ you've been bought with a price and God has chosen you for such a time like this so don't let the devil rob you of that my friends hell was not created for mankind hell was created for the devil and one third of his angels that Christ died for you and for me because he loves us and he don't want us to spend eternity with the devil and his one third angels but my friends because of the wickedness of men so great upon the earth that many will end up there but it's not god desire and will for anyone to go to hell because he loves us dearly my friends it has been a joy and great privilege today to be here to minister the word of god god bless you richly do accept the gift the free gift of salvation for one verse i want to leave with you in john 3 verse 16 says god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life my friends it's a free gift of salvation accept god's ways the gift of salvation in jesus name god bless you richly today this friday my friends god bless you richly do have a sweet and wonderful day in the name of jesus i love you dearly in the love of god in jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen thank you jesus praise the lord amen hallelujah thank you lord praise god